but once you get used to it, it's so much faster. Looking back then, Windows XP really was a huge step in the path toward modern Windows. 95 and 98 deserve some credit. They had vastly more usable interfaces than what came before them, but they did nothing to solve the issues that were inherent with the DOS-based reality that was behind the curtains. 2000 addressed a lot of the stability and security concerns, thanks to its business-grade NT kernel, but it was only intended for business users and was priced to match, so it fell to XP to bring those benefits to the average user. And aside from just stability, there are glimpses of the future all over Windows XP. The start menu moved away from the monolithic all programs list in favor of highlighting your most used app. It had improved search, meaning you didn't have to go digging for things quite so often. And it had improved networking and internet features that were central to ushering in the always connected world we live in now, where most of what we do on a computer is in a web browser, say with Wikipedia, rather than loaded onto our machine with a disk like uh, Microsoft Encarta. Speaking of mind blowing things, <laughs> This will probably blow our younger viewers' minds, but thumbnails, slideshows, and the task pane, those didn't exist before Windows XP. And while Auto Run wasn't new, there was finally enough functionality in the operating system and bundled apps for it to be genuinely useful, as we saw in our music ripping and our disc burning challenges. So XP, you know what? You stood up to the test of time, even if your usability could have been a little better.